It does it like the, you would have conversations with other fans talk about some yeah man, but I think that he should go the easy route and go this way, this 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 and that, and then and then we can fight him. Then he should fight him like years down the line. Like no, I don't like that's that's killing boxing. We need to see the biggest fights happen and happen now. You know what I mean? We got slap boxing for Christ's sakes. We got MMA fighters going and killing it. We got um all kinds of shit. You know, bad basketball. Football, everything else is still moving. Boxing is not moving if you ain't grooving. We need to see these fights happen. So coming into the main event, obviously, when you was in Golden Boy, um, happy that you're released now, um, you was promised the Virgil Ortiz fight. Um, now you, you you come in here, you see you know, that Virgil Ortiz has these problems, comes into the ring with a big layoff, um, fights this guy, Lawson. Um, you know, the guy just I, I'm pretty sure once you've seen, you know, I'm pretty sure you like did your homework. Who is this guy? Must have said, why? Why is this fight happening? Uh, why didn't I get this shot? Um, this guy basically got knocked out three times by three nobodies. Um, what you think about, you know, as far as, you know, watching that performance, obviously there's not wasn't much film, right? But in the same time, calling out guys like Tim Zhu in the same in the same sentence. It seems like Golden Boy and Virgil is trying very, very hard, desperately, to come up with a big fight. And you know, it, it would have been way better if we had just saw what would happen against Lawson and just let it play out and then maybe get another big not just calling out the big guy just because you think that you're somebody, you know, um, your, your politics ain't working in boxing anymore. It's, 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 it's not helping. Right. Need to see real fights. And that's how I feel about boxing right now. We haven't seen a 50, 50, ever so why are we like still we should we know it just stop buying these fights stop even watching these fights you know what i'm saying dude there's a whole lot of nonsense a whole lot of like promotions of fighters that never hold a title a day in their life and it never really had a 50 50 fight meanwhile i had like six of them bitches <laughs> you, know I mean? like, you know it's just it's crazy you know so and I would have loved to smack up um, 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 Virgil Ortiz, but you know, look, if smash the like button, ladies and gentlemen, smash the like button. We just got frozen. Probably just got a phone call. Coda, is that true? Is that true? Because you know, I got, I, I, you know, those are my people. So, you got a phone call. Okay. So uh one of the homies in the in the comments, uh Coda, uh Blair, is it true Rashidi Ellis's people wanted to negotiate a fight with you? Absolutely not. I've never heard of that. Me and Rashidi Ellis is very good friends. I mean, that's something that he could possibly just call first person. I mean, that's not that's not it. That's not that would never be an issue. You know what I mean, but uh, I got nothing but respect in um and his team. You know what I'm saying? Um, and wish nothing but the best. For him. Yeah, I rock. I rock with um, uh, Alex I, and all them. Should have been fighting right now, which is the Ennis fight. You know what I'm saying? It's it's unfortunate that he took that loss. You know what I mean? That was a, that was a little bit of a step back, but. It was a step back into the right direction. He's gonna, he's going, he's going to bounce back and be better than ever before. I'm pretty sure of it. Um, but in the meantime, I got, I got, I got Ennis, I got Connor Ben, I got Keith Thurman, I got a lot of good fighters that we can be worrying about outside of um, Rashidi Ellis. Um, so right now, my eyes is on that. Do you, do you, do you know the opponent of Connor Ben's next opponent? The dude. Uh... Pistol Pete Dobson from New York. No, but I'm I'm getting ready because the moment somebody talk about some, oh yeah, it's not going to happen. It's 
Somebody's got to pull out. I want to be there. It? You going to be the substitution real quick? Yeah, I'll, I'll substitute and ass whooping right quick. I like that. I like that. That's dangerous. That's dangerous. I like that. 